what comes to your mind when you think of North Korea? Its nuclear ambitions, its autocratic leader. The country has been in news for a variety of reasons. It is also claimed to have zero COVID-19 cases. And now it is being talked about for its vegetables. You heard that right, vegetables. North Korea claims it is producing what they call functional vegetables. What are they and how do they help? This report answers some questions. Stay safe, stay healthy. That's the mantra these days. And in North Korea, things are being done a little differently. You see, there are vegetables and then there are functional vegetables. Sounds bizarre, right? But in these strange times, it seems like anything is possible. Let's explain. An institute in North Korea is reportedly producing various types of these functional vegetables. The aim is to improve people's diet and health. A video by North Korea's official news agency KCNA gives us a sneak peek. It claims to show workers at the Pyongyang Vegetable Science Institute looking after plants like peppers and tomatoes. But what exactly makes these vegetables special? What are functional vegetables? In particular, Gynura bicolor, which was recently produced, has 20 to 30 times the amount of iron than vegetables planted outside. It is the ideal vegetable for women who have just given birth or for people with anemia due to a lack of iron. We will continue to research ways to produce more kinds of vegetables and contribute to improving the health of people. As per the KCNA, the institute is equipped with bioengineering research facilities. It all sounds too good to be true for a country which has for years relied on regular supplies of UN food aid. In the midst of the pandemic, North Korea also claims to have zero COVID-19 cases. It shut its borders in January when cases surged in China, but it claims to be COVID-19 free have been viewed with suspicion. Bureau Report, Vion World is One.